All right, I'll walk through a couple of things here real quick. Uh, let's see, so this is the engine information uh, system. This is a Grand Rapids EIS 4000. It's uh, configured specifically for the uh, Subaru installation. It does come with the, uh, the engine package. Uh, this guy is the engine programmer. It comes from the uh, Simple Digital System company. They make the ECU that I'm running. Uh, this reads out my air-fuel ratio uh, and then some engine parameters. So it's got RPM, manifold pressure, uh, ignition timing, and such like that. Uh, this knob down here adjusts the uh, mixture, uh, which we read out as uh, air-fuel ratio. Uh, the knob uh, interfaces with the programmer, and the programmer adjusts the computer to adjust mixture. I can also adjust uh, spark timing and uh, other engine parameters from here. Uh, all of my engine information I funnel over to my display so that I have a graphical engine display. This, of course, is staying with the airplane, but that part does go with it. Uh, so we're here for the run-up. Uh, one of the things here is a, um, a redundant auto failover uh, fuel pump. So I test that here at the end of the runway. So I'm going to set this to auto. So my pump failover is on auto, and then I'm going to turn off the fuel pump. It sensed uh, low fuel pressure, automatically kicked on the aux pump. So now I'm running off of the uh, the auxiliary fuel pump uh, that automatically kicked on. Now I'll reset the system. I'll turn the main fuel pump back on, bring the uh, auto failover back to main. So now it shut off the aux pump. It's running off the main pump. And then return that to the auto position. So now we're uh, back to the, uh, the automatic failover. So if there's a uh, low fuel pressure, it'll automatically kick on the aux pump. Uh, if the main pump is still working, they'll both run. Uh, it runs just fine with both pumps on. All the uh, engine instruments are in the green, uh, so we're going to do a run-up. Close the canopy because it gets... static RPM, I check for a minimum static RPM of 1900. There's 1930, 1940. Uh, AFR is good. Making power, fuel pressure is good. All my temps are in the green. EGT is appropriate. Uh, now I'm going to back it back down. We're going to check idle. Yeah, uh, Sirius 571, Charlie Delta, San Luis Ground, in front of... Uh uh, runway 29 taxi, we get taxiway alpha. And that's idle, that's uh, 550 prop RPM at idle, which is about 1100, uh, 1100 RPM at the engine. Uh, nice smooth idle there. So we're ready to fly. Uh, confirm we have information, Juliet. Alright, we're yeah. lined up and, uh, we and ready to go, yeah. clear for takeoff. So here we are, we're coming up full power. off the ground. And we're climbing out. That's giving me a warning because one of my radios is turned off. So there's a thousand feet per minute. About 90 knots indicated. 1200, 1300 feet per minute. Zero Mike, Mike Crush, runway 29, Mike to Bravo, taxi to 29 uh, via Alpha. Uh, we've got a 93 knots climbing out and 11, 1100 feet per minute about. Why don't you Zulu Tangle, Grant? Uh, we'll just let it keep speeding up a little bit. So we sped up, we're doing 108 knots, and still there's uh, about 1,100 feet per minute to climb. In 
engine, uh, or the prop rather, is spinning at 2,180 RPM, and we're making just about 28 inches of manifold pressure. 77 degrees outside, and 11 and a half gallons per hour here in the uh, in the climb. We are leveled off at about 3,000 feet, and we're set up for a nice, comfortable, uh, just having fun, sightseeing power setting. So we're about 2,000 prop RPM, that's about 4,000 engine RPM. Uh, showing 115 knots, 125 knots, or 124 knots true airspeed, and about 7 gallons per hour fuel flow right now. Uh, this is a, like I say, a comfortable, comfortable power setting to just uh, get out, do some sightseeing, some fun flying. Uh, this engine's happy and comfortable right here all day. You know, it's uh, the local flying just about right. Uh, we do have an inversion layer. This is pretty typical around here. So it's uh, 92 degrees outside air temp up at 3,000 feet. It was uh, down in the lower 70s on the ground when we took off out of San Luis Obispo. You know, with this engine, uh, you know, an RV is still an RV. It's still a lot of fun to fly. Push the power in just a little bit. We can still, uh, still handles just like any other RV. Just as nimble, just as quick. All right, here we are leveled off. We're uh, about 600 feet and uh, just offshore a little bit, flying along the uh, the beach. And this is going to be a full power run, so uh, let's see just what this guy is putting out. So that's uh, 2,650 prop RPM. That's 161 knot, or 160 knots indicated, so that's moving along pretty good. So when this guy unwinds and makes power, uh, it does just fine. Of course, the fuel flow here is about 14 and a half, 14.8 gallons per hour, so it takes a lot to uh, go full power. There we're showing 165. I was pushing just a touch for that. A little bit bumpy, so uh, we're going to pull it back. Everything running real good down there, keeping us uh, nice and fast. All right, here we are, uh, established at about 9,500. We uh, got the autopilot on so we can hold everything nice and precisely here and uh, look at some numbers. On 128 knots indicated airspeed, 154 knots true airspeed. Uh, this is the calibrated. We set uh, set this up on the GRT to uh, calculate true airspeed. And looking at 73 degrees outside air temp. Fuel flow for this is 9.0 gallons per hour. Uh, there is bumping between 9.0 and 9.1. 2,440 prop RPM. And actually, air fuel ratio is showing 12.9, so I can lean that out just a touch more. So that's not full throttle. I've got a little bit more that I could give it. Uh, right now we're showing 153 knots true airspeed, 8.8 um, .8 gallons per hour, uh, now that we're leaned out properly. And again, 
again, as I mentioned, this is uh, 900,500 feet and uh, 73 degrees Fahrenheit outside air temp. Alright, so here we are. I've got it opened up a little bit more. Showing 159 knots true airspeed at 9.8 uh, 9 to 9.9 .9 gallons per hour. 2,510 crop RPM. Uh, still 73 degrees outside, still 9,500 feet. So, uh, there's 160 there, just bumped up to. And 2,520, still 9.9 .9 gallons per hour flow rate. So again, that's a pretty decent performance for a fixed pitch uh, RV. You know, uh, obviously the uh, O360s are going to go a little bit faster, but this will still get you someplace just fine. And especially at this price, uh, can't do that with a light coming. And I am running uh, 91 mo gas right now from the shell station. Alright, so here we are established at a nice, comfortable, uh, pretty normal cruise setting. Uh, it's 9,500 feet, 74 degrees Fahrenheit outside air temp, 146 knots true airspeed, 8.2 gallon, 8.2, 8.3 gallons per hour, and 2,340 prop RPM, which is uh, about 4,700 engine RPM. Uh, the engine is uh, real comfortable there. That's not pushing it too hard at all. It's a nice, uh, nice comfortable setting to uh, to fly long range at. Real smooth running. Not getting much vibration of any sort. Right now, let the autopilot do the work. Here we are. It's uh, 147 knots and uh, 8.2 gallons per hour right now. So this is uh, this is pretty typical cross country performance. This is about what I fly plan for. Of course, I can uh, I can go a little faster if I want to burn just a little bit more fuel. Uh, like you saw a minute ago, you know, 150 or a little higher is not uh, not uncommon if I want to burn closer to nine gallons per hour. So that's uh, flies pretty nice. November 143, Juliet Lima, Fable, make short approach, runway 29 or clear to land. Yeah, short approach, clear to land, 29 through Juliet. Experimental zero, Mike, Mike, reduce to approach speed, your number two, following an RV on the right down, wind beam the tower, making a short approach. Zero, Mike, Mike, looking for the RV. One Romeo Echo, frequency change approved. Have a nice flight. Right, Experimental zero, Mike. Mike, your traffic says short final number two runway two nine are cleared to land. You can resume normal speed. So Mike, Mike, and I have the traffic. Roger. November 3, Juliet Lima, where would you like to park? Uh, left side, please. 3, Juliet Lima, roger. Continue straight ahead, turn left on Echo, taxi to parking via Juliet or Juliet Mike. Off on Echo, parking via Juliet Mike with you, Juliet Lima. Mike, roger, turn left on Echo, taxi to parking via Juliet or Juliet Mike, remain this frequency. So, Mike, Mike. Alright, 
for shutdown. Uh, we're going to turn the fuel pump back to uh, main so that way when it senses low fuel pressure, it does an auto failover. We're going to go uh, electronics off, and then ignition off, fuel pump off, and then we're done. So, there we go.